The guests in this segment are really doing their part to take care of our environment, first composting, and now somebody who is taking care of the backbone to our ecosystem. Please join me in welcoming Hugh Bridges from the Virginia Bee Company. Hi. Hi, how you doing? I'm good, how are you? Good. So you gotta tell me, how did you get started working with bees and honey? Well, it was just kind of a hobby that got out of control. And I wanted, I had so much honey, I wanted to give it away to friends, but I didn't want to give it away in ugly jars, which is usually what honey comes in. Yep. And so I created, I'm an inventor, so I created these jars, uh, I import them from Italy, and we hand decorate them. So, uh, you know, in your grandparents' day, food uh, companies actually made products that they wanted, you know, to put on your table that looked good. Right. And since the advent of the ketchup bottle and things like that, you know, things are so ugly, you want to hide them away in the pantry. So yep. <laughs> we wanted products that really look nice on your table and, you know, nice as gifts. Or, uh, and as you can see, they do look beautiful on the table and as gifts. Now, you got to tell me, why is it so important to you to take care of our bees? Well, a good friend of mine, uh, president of Tidewater Beekeepers, Frank Walker, had gotten me into it. And, uh, you know, what he had, had taught a lot of us is, you know, every third bite of food you eat on your plate comes from this insect. And, you know, without this insect, you're going to, you know, not have a lot of food choices. Right. So uh, backyard beekeepers have been very helpful in, you know, helping to repopulate the bee population, which is kind of been decimated by two pests, the varroa mite and uh, the hive beetle. Mm. But, uh, you know, people getting interested in beekeeping and, you know, the backyard beekeeper, as I said, has really helped to bring back populations of bees that were kind of going away. So right. bees have a chance again, it looks like. That's awesome. That's what we love to hear. Now, all your products are handmade, and these are stunning. If you look... The bees are put on the jars by hand. They're just so beautiful. Now, if everything is handmade, do you have a big team? No, actually, I've got a small team, but I'm looking to expand. So I'm looking to find, uh, trying to find people that have uh, had success uh, in the food business, taking things to the next level. I've got so many companies after us. We've got Wegmans, Whole Foods, wow. uh, uh, Fresh Market, and... Uh, I just, I need to take this to the next level in order to be able to do that type of volume. But okay. it's, been, it's been a lot of fun. And it's you been... hear that, Angel's out there? <laughs> he needs somebody to help scale. Um, can you talk me through some of these products? Because I feel like some of the things you were describing before the segment started are things that are really commonly experienced by people here. For instance, you said this works wonders on eczema, right? right? Rosacea, eczema, and psoriasis. And I didn't know that until our customers started to get back with me on it. Uh, you know, right. the brand has been so good. Uh, you know, the natural uh, thing was to go also into cosmetics, which have been very good. And we've got great cosmetics. They're all natural. One of our products has neroli oil, which uh, used to be in women's cosmetics from the 20s through about the mid 80s. But it's so expensive that uh, it's hard to, uh, you know, it's, it's hard to have, you know, to put it in cosmetics being that expensive, but we've done it and uh, it really helps to exfoliate your skin. Everything we have in the cosmetics is all natural, uh, USDA organic and uh, all essential oils. So it's, uh, it's, it's, pretty, uh, it's pretty good. So this is the cream that you were talking about with the neroli oil, right? Yes, the Queen Anne's. And Ladies, I need you to pay attention because I know you pay a lot for chemical peels. Chemicals aren't great for your skin, but this stuff does the same thing to your skin and it's all natural. So definitely check out his website so that you can learn more about his products. Now, if our viewers are watching and they're like, hey, beekeeping sounds kind of fun, how can they get involved in beekeeping in their own communities? Uh, I would contact uh, Tidewater Beekeepers or Norfolk Beekeepers. Okay. Because uh, that's a really good program. Uh, it's headed up by, again, a good friend of mine, Frank Walker. And it's people of all ages. You know, they're right. young kids and they're middle-aged people and they're seniors. And it's, it's, uh, it's, it's a lot of fun and uh, very educational. Amazing. Well, you are based in Virginia Beach, so anyone looking to get a boosting your immune system towards seasonal allergies. You should check them out for the honey. Like I said, ladies, check out the cosmetic products because they're all natural. And all natural at the end, the end of the day is better for our faces. And so is shopping local. 
All right, now where can people find more information about Virginia Bee Company? Uh, they can go to vabeeco.com or vabeecosmetics.com. Amazing. Well, Hugh, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you for taking care of our bees. And also thank you for sharing these beautiful products with us. We can't wait to try them. Thank you very much. Now we have to take a break, but when we come back, we have some delicious frozen treats and then we're gonna dance it off. Stay right there.